Hi there, welcome to another session of Cooking with Mama T. Today I'm gonna to do something really quick and another family favorite. We are frying fish. And I wanted to show a video of frying fish because so many people have asked about frying fish. I'll put the measurements down and the directions, but I wanna say when you coat your fish, just coat it really well on both sides. And I'm moving pretty swiftly because my grease is hot and ready. And we have spots. My son, to be honest with you, felt sorry for me because he had me on lockdown. So he went out and found some spots for me to cook for us. So that was good for him. He scored some brownie points. And I use a combination of yellow cornmeal and flour. Yellow cornmeal and all-purpose flour. So I use um, one part of each. One part of the yellow cornmeal and one part of the flour. And as you can see, the grease is nice and hot. And with the fish, it doesn't have to be a ton of grease. It doesn't have to really cover it up, but you do have to have a good amount. So that's two pieces right there. Let me clean my, and I use my Mama Tea Season, which is what I use on pretty much everything. And as I did in the past, I will put the alternative to what you can use in the directories. And as I did with the chicken, I told you I used vinegar and everything, so I'm gonna pour. About a quarter cup of vinegar. And two box items in there. And you will see just how golden brown that's gonna turn. Yeah, vinegar is definitely a staple of cooking for me. Pretty much anything I cook with, bacon or frying it, I'm going to use vinegar. And most of the time, that's how to have it. I use the white vinegar because that's what's in my house. But if I didn't have white vinegar, I would easily substitute it with apple cider. Okay, so now it's ready to turn. And as you can see, it's getting really pretty and golden. That's a lot to do with the vinegar, as well as the um, coating that I have on top of it. So there it is. That's our first batch of fish that are finished. So now we're gonna do the second part of our, we have some vegetables, but this is cornbread. So we actually do use Jiffy cornbread most of the time. So we just use two boxes because my family likes it. So we have two eggs. A quarter cup of sugar, yes, I use sugar. <laughs> quarter cup of sugar. So since it's two boxes, we use two thirds cup milk. And this is a recipe that I got from my aunt, my late aunt Gilda, taught, teaching me to put the margarine inside of the cornbread. And trust me, it makes a huge difference. It makes a difference in the texture. The texture comes out completely different when you add the margarine inside of it. So that's what I've been doing for probably about 10 years now. And I'm trying to get as much margarine as I can. And it also eliminates the use of margarine on top. And we just easy, just mix all these ingredients together. Stirring till all. And as you can see, as I'm stirring, the margarine is getting stirred right up into. So use um, room temperature margarine for sure. And this pan has already been prepared. I've sprayed it with bacon um, with Pam. And if you don't have a uh, cooking spray, you can use uh, oil, just regular oil. Just definitely, definitely have to put something in it that will prevent it from sticking. And as you can see, my mix is not really loose. It should not be really loose. It almost should be the consistency of cake. And we're going to put this 
on 400 in the oven for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, that's our cornbread. So our cornbread is done. We're coming close to our last batch of fish. Here is some of the fish as it is done. Thank you once again for joining us and stay tuned for even more episodes with Cooking with Mama T.